Today's featured ingredient is ramen. What? staple of every college kid's meal. I've done quite a few videos on making different types of ramen, so I thought that I would try making BuzzFeed's recipes that they feature on their website. So let's get started with today's first recipe, which is BuzzFeed's ramen pizza. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Next, let's cut up the ramen. What we need to do is cut it lengthwise. Most ramen is folded, as you can see like this. There we go. Pour some pizza sauce inside. All we do is we just take our ramen, dip it inside of the pizza sauce. That didn't work. I think I'm going to need to use a spoon. Decorate it with some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. I just stuck a little bit more cheese on it. Now we're going to stick it in the oven. You will know it is done by the fact that the cheese has turned a little bit brown. Ah, look at that. Ooh. All right, let's see how this tastes. I can see the noodles absorb some of the pizza sauce. It's still crunchy though. It's not bad. It just tastes like pizza on crunchy ramen noodles. You can see the ramen underneath. Out of 10, I'd probably give this one a 7. Gatsby has become such a good cuddler. My little corgi, friendship is magic. Did you know that corgis are from Wales? You know what corgi means in Welsh? Cor means dwarf, and gi means dog. If you enjoy these BuzzFeed cooking videos, make sure to check out my playlist on all the other BuzzFeed cooking videos I've done. I'm actually gonna put a card, like, right up here, and you can vote. Tell me which one is your favorite. Hey guys, I'm headed off to the supermarket to grab the ingredients for the ramen recipes, but I'm also going to stop off at the gym and the P.O. box. So, see you guys there. Just got done with my workout. I'm gonna head over now to the supermarket to get all the ingredients for the BuzzFeed recipes. Got my list here. Gotta find all the ingredients. Let's get some ramen here. I haven't had these in so long. 39 cents. What a steal. Let's get some pizza sauce. Hot dogs. Pepperoni. Flour. And cheese. Mozzarella. Cheddar. Milk. And that's all we need. Hey, that was fast and easy. You guys are so crazy with all these packages. So much fan mail. Woo! I got a nutty nutty style and a nutty nutty crew. But everything I do, I do this for you. Oh, stretch. For our next recipe, we are going to be making some mac and cheese ramen style. That sounds disgusting. All you'll need is some ramen, cheese, and milk. First thing we do, boil some water in a hot kettle. Mix the noodles. Okay, now we just drain out the water. So now we add our cheese, quarter cup of mild cheddar, and one quarter cup of milk. And now we mix. This does not seem to want to melt. I'll turn it on low. Mmm. <laughs> this looks disgusting. Here it goes. No. Oh, That did not taste good. I don't think the noodles go well at all. I'd probably give that a 3 out of 10. Ew. Gatsby's weekly fan mail time. Joey and Kelly from Omaha, Nebraska. Angel from Indio, California. Aaron Lyons from Ontario, Canada. Where did you come up with the name Gatsby? Well, Aaron, I came up with the name Gatsby just because I really was a big fan of the book. And also, I thought that that would just be a really cool name for a corgi. Fong from Honolulu. He had also sent me Pokemon Omega Ruby before. And a happy birthday. Look at that. Katie from Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Catherine Jordan in Tom's River, New Jersey. Elisa from Riverside, California. This is from Sophie. <laughs> Sophie and Harrison from Riley in Green Bay, Wisconsin. 
You help hundreds of people every day. Heck, my whole family likes your vlog. Stay awesome. P.S. My sister said she wants to marry you. I really want to tease her about that. <laughs> JT in Fairfield, California. This is Danny from Australia. Sherry from Ridgewood, New York. Ah ha ha! Emoji dog toy. Gage sent me this. This is so awesome. I remember you on the live streams. Thank you so much, dude. This is from Jamie W. from Alameda, California. Wow, look, Gatsby, you got a Kong Wubba, retractable leash, and I got some corgi socks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. The final package is from a different Jamie from Rapid City, South Dakota. Woo! Corgi on fleek. You can hang this somewhere, Gatsby. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you so much to everyone else for sending us stuff. I'm sorry if I didn't read your full letter in the vlog, but I can assure you that whatever you send me, I definitely go through and read it multiple, multiple times. And if you want to send me or Gatsby something, make sure to check out the P.O. Box in the description below. And let's get on with the vlog. It's time to feed the fish. Today, mice is shrimp. Everyone's like, oh my gosh! Everyone seems to be very happy. The corals on the other hand, uh... First off we have the gold hammer on the left. The mouth open means it's pretty much dead. Which is unfortunate. I have absolutely no idea what happened. I tested the water parameters and everything seems fine. Other than that, the Ganyopora also got nipped at or something because there is like a hole right there. However, I decided I'm not going to be stressed out and worried about these corals because corals come and go, unfortunately. That's just like the way that it happens. And I don't believe it was the flame angel. The good news though is that the fish are all swimming around nicely and they're all happy. Gatsby, are you ready to go to the park? This is Gatsby Superman pose. Full on sploot. Next recipe on the list, ramen chili. All you'll need, ramen and chili. First, microwave the chili. Mmm. Go. Done. Nice. This recipe suggests microwaving the ramen for three minutes and 45 seconds, so let's try that. I hope this doesn't overflow. That doesn't look appetizing. Ramen noodles, let's add some chili. 
And since we have the cheese from the last one, we can sprinkle some of that on. Extra fancy. Doesn't look as bad as the mac and cheese. That's not terrible. It tastes like college food. At least it's edible. Out of 10, I'd probably give this about a five and a half. It's edible. Here's Sean. Gonna go and grab some In-N-Out Burger. So if you guys didn't know, In-N-Out Burger has, of course, the secret menu items. Animal style, which is like a thousand island dressing sauce with onions. And they have piggy style, which is with bacon. Protein style, which is without a bun. What other styles are there? I've never even- Gangnam style. You can ask them for lemonade, Beyonce style. The guy's like, got the Jeremy Lin thing going. I look like Jeremy Lin, everyone thinks so. They don't salt your fries, so you gotta salt it yourself. Look at that. He's gonna do his in and out challenge. While Sean is filming his last video, I thought that I would finish up with the recipe. We are making ramen corn dogs. This one actually requires a lot of stuff. I have some canola oil. We're gonna be deep frying. You can use chopsticks as well. Take our ramen and smash it up. Die. Next, let's make the batter. One cup flour, one cup cornmeal, an eighth cup of sugar. There's no such thing as an eighth cup. Siri, how many teaspoons is in one eighth cup? Siri says six. Two teaspoons baking powder. One, two. Some salt, half a cup of milk, one egg. Now we mix. This looks like it needs a lot more milk. Okay, this is a little bit better. Dip the hot dog inside the batter. Dip it in the ramen. And go. The oil's a little too hot, so I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. There it goes, this probably looks a little better. You know what? Side of ketchup? Perfect. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It does taste good. I like the crunchiness. I would give it like a 7.5. I give it an 8. This is great. I'm gonna go with 7. Mmm. Oh! <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> what? This finally appeared. <laughs> My silver play button, I can order it. My 100k plaque in 6 to 12 weeks. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed all those weird ramen recipes. <laughs> I think the corn dog and the pizza were the best ones, definitely. And if you wanted to see me actually cooking ramen, I make a lot of ramen videos. I have one where I just make my signature ramen, which you can check out right over here or in the link in the description below. And I also did an ultimate ramen challenge where I put like the most expensive ramen bowl ever right over here. You can check that out as well. Other than that, I am getting so exhausted. Make sure to check out the videos on Gatsby's channel, Great Gatsby Corgi. Everything is in the description below. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. And we're ready to eat. Oh my god, it tastes so good. The egg and the naga emote is like super creamy.